Welcome back to another video. So today, this is my second video in a row going over the GameStop stock, or as some people like to say, GameStonk, uh, and Wall Street bets pretty much overthrowing hedge funds and uh, you know pretty much sticking it to the man. So it has gone to a whole other level today. All right, and this has deeply moved me. Okay, so I myself am an immigrant, moved to Canada uh, when I was four, and I mean, I my parents have worked incredibly hard for every penny they have earned. Uh, and so when I see uh, that pretty much Wall Street shutting down um, ordinary people and their power to invest in stocks, okay, I definitely get a little bit riled up. So uh, I'm just posting this to share information out there about what's going on um, and my take on the whole situation. Okay, so first we'll <laughs> start out with some uh, tweets because they're always the best for an intro. So when hedge fund billionaires move markets, they get huge bonuses. When ordinary Americans move markets, they get shut down by Wall Street. The system is rigged. Okay, so Josh Shapiro, he's like, it's amazing how quickly regulators and platforms stop manipulation by average folks with smartphones, Wi-Fi, and a few bucks, but they can't find it in themselves to hold the big banks accountable for the same Wall Street manipulation that actually ruins lives. So I'm pretty sure he's referring to the 2008 crisis. And of course, what happened there was huge market manipulation, huge deception by uh, every single regulator out there, basically, and every big bank. And what happened when everything went to shit? Well, uh, the banks got funded out, got by, backed out by the government, uh, sorry, bailed out, I should say, uh, except for like one bank. And who went to jail? Literally, no one went to jail for the 2008 crisis that literally ruined lives, okay? So, and now what happens when uh, a group of people come together and buy into a stock? Well, basically, Wall Street says, you can't trade the stock, you can only sell the stock. So, what happened today was that ordinary people going on to Robinhood, trying to trade GameStop, uh naked there's there a bunch of other stocks blackberry couldn't actually trade the stocks okay uh they couldn't even find the stocks if they searched on the ticker on robin hood uh they were only if they hold, held positions in those stocks they were able to sell them okay but they weren't able to buy and so as a result this actually caused uh you know from 10 to around like 11 like a huge sell off and even overall a huge sell off of the day of 44% Okay, so this is everything that's going on. And it's like, okay, so, you know, you, you side and it's especially because Robin Hood actually has um, a deal with Marvin Capital and Citadel Investments. Um, and about 40% of the revenue goes to Robin Hood, okay, because Robin Hood sells them um, buying and selling information. Okay, because Robin Hood is a huge trading platform for retail investors. Okay, so this is definitely concerning to me. Uh, another quote is, remember when senators got coronavirus briefings before the public and sold off millions of dollars in stocks before the crash last year and faced no consequences and no regulation? Then Reddit made one stock into a meme and they're talking about restructuring the whole market. Okay, so, you know, pretty, definitely pretty funny. So it's, it's you know, it's good to uh, um, get exposure on this kind of stuff. Okay. Um, and actually, so acting attorney general monkey wilkinson this was addressed to this guy by paul which is a member of goes here member of congress and i'm just going to read it quickly so um dear acting attorney general i am greatly troubled with events that have unfolded on wall street and demand action from the u.s department of justice today a regulator broker dealer called robin hood halted the purchase of stocks for several publicly traded companies including gamestop Blackberry, AMC, and others. This unilateral move was done in a concerted effort to deplatform and silence individual investors. This began when an investment management fund called Melvin Capital Management placed an aggressive short sell on the company GameStop. To contradict this decision, the heavily followed Reddit page Wall Street Bets and their administration administrators advocated that their followers purchase GameStop stock uh, using the broker Robinhood. The movement was so immense that it drove the stock price over 400% of its previous value. As a result, Melvin Capital lost billions uh, on their return and Robinhood blocked users from buying any more of GameStop stock but still allowed liquidation. Melvin Capital is owned by the parent company Citadel, which according to a Bloomberg report, gave Robinhood roughly 40% of the revenue, which I, I just said before. Knowing the involvement 
Citadel has with Robin Hood, it is clear that the actions taken today were motivated by anti-competitive reasons for concerns of volatility claimed by Robin Hood. Because of this blatant conflict of interest and obvious monopolistic activity, I'm calling on an immediate investigation by uh, DOJ into Robin Hood and the hedge fund of Citadel. Okay, so again, this was signed by a member of, or written and signed by a member of Congress. Uh, and, and again, it, this is very concerning, okay? Even something like this, NASDAQ CEO Friedman says the exchange will halt trading in a stock if they link unusual activity to social media chatter. Okay, so again, this is deeply upsetting to me where, again, you allow um, pretty much the privatization of gains and socialization of losses. I'm going to say that again, privatization of gains and socialization of losses. What that means is pretty much as soon as big banks, big hedge fund managers, when they post a profit, they privatize it. Okay, they use that money and they buy themselves a nice uh, place in, you know, Manhattan, New York, wherever, okay? Uh, but the socialization of losses means, think of 2008 financial crisis. Those losses were not undertaken by the bankers themselves, but the community at large, right? Millions of people losing their houses, their jobs, um, went into poverty, right? So this is deeply, deeply uh, concerning and moving to me. And I mean, I I don't like the way that uh, Wall Street is dealing with this. I don't like the way that um, Robin Hood is dealing with this. And I, I'm definitely going to be seeing what's happening on the sidelines. But, uh, you know, it, it's just telling that when a group of people band together into something that they believe in, something like this can happen. OK, so uh, let me know what you think about this whole movement in the comments below. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Have a great night, everybody.